In this video, we will discuss how to reconcile bank transactions in Xero. If you haven't yet, click the bell and subscribe to be notified every time we produce our best pieces of content. The process of bank reconciliation involves making sure that all the transactions in your bank accounts are reflected in the accounting records of your company. This is accomplished in Xero under the Reconcile tab by matching the bank statement lines on the left with transactions on the right. Statement lines are the bank transactions that have been manually entered or imported through a bank feed from your bank account. They are known as bank transactions in your online banking, and we refer to them as bank statement lines when they are imported into Xero. Account transactions are created in Xero. These could be invoices, bills, expense claims, or cash transactions. To begin with the reconciliation, go to your Xero dashboard. From the dashboard, you can already see how many bank statement lines are to be reconciled. Click this button to start reconciliation. If the amount on the statement line matches the amount of the transactions, Xero can suggest matches. Match suggestions are highlighted in green. When comparing transactions, be careful and look at the date. The reference and the contact, rather than depending just on the match feature of Xero. If you're happy with it, click the OK button. Once you clicked OK, Xero will now mark the bill as paid. If you are sure that there is an existing transaction for the statement line, but Xero is not suggesting a match, you can click the Find and Match button here, and you can search for the transaction in the search bar by name, reference, or amount. As you can see, there are two transactions totaling 4,500, and these matches the total amount of the statement line. You can now tick these transactions and then click Reconcile. You can also create a spend money or receive money transactions directly on Xero for transactions that has no documents to match with. For example, parking fees and bank fees. Just enter the who, what, why, and click OK to mark as paid. For this example, we can also create a transaction for this by clicking Add Details. Select whether it is a direct payment prepayment, or an overpayment. In this case, prepayment because of the word deposit. Complete the details and then save transaction. And then you can now reconcile it. For recurring transactions, you can use the bank rule feature of Xero. To do this, click Options and then select Create a Bank Rule. Add Conditions. Select the contact and the account to which the amount will be allocated. Name the rule and then click Save if done. There may be also transactions which are paid with a different amount. If there is a corresponding bill for it, you can find and match, and then the remaining amount could be an adjustment. You can add an adjustment by selecting which adjustment it should be. Entering the amount of the adjustment and clicking Add Adjustment if you are confident that this is a bank fee or a minor adjustment. I'll describe it in this instance as a minor adjustment. If the statement line only contains a transfer from or to another bank account that is likewise in zero, you can simply click Transfer and choose the appropriate bank. Another unique aspect of zero is the Discuss tab. Start a discussion with your accountant or bookkeeper if you're not sure how it should be reconciled by adding a note for them to read. Click Save if done. If all of the statement lines are reconciled, you can see something like this. We suggest you compare the statement balance above to the balance your bank is showing as of the date here. And that's it. Here's how to reconcile bank transactions in zero. Thank you for watching.